There we go, there we go. No mic. All right, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, welcome to our kitchen. <laughs> uh, so today we're gonna be making four different meals. What? Loud muting, oh. Loud muting. Bird reveal. He's an actual bird. Yeah, I'm an actual bird in IRL. Um, so we're going to be making Mapo Tofu. I think I'm not very good at pronouncing these, so Sam will get on to me <laughs> if I say it wrong. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Huervos Rancheros. Uh, wait, what? Anyway, uh, shit, I wish I had the mouse here. Is this a touch screen? It's not a touch screen. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the recipes. Oh, German bratwurst. <coughs> Thank you. And then we're going to do uh, copycat White Castle sliders. So to start out, I forgot to do this prep work beforehand. So we gotta take this tofu and press it. Because it's supposed to be pressed. Get all the moisture out of it. Is it ready? Just needs to be. Yeah. Also, let me know if the music or anything is too loud. 
Uh, oh, oh, this is Sam, my lovely assistant, who will be doing all of the cooking <laughs> while I watch. <laughs> no. Uh, let's see. So I got a few cameras here. Oh, yeah, she's not mic'd up. Uh, I don't know if you can hear her through my, my my microphone, but let me know if it's okay, if it's good. I can always do it like this. Yeah, I don't know how close she needs to be to be able to hear, but we have a stove camera, and then I've got a work area camera. So. I'll be able to show you guys what I'm doing while I'm doing it. So let's turn on that work area camera. Boop. Clap like this. Yeah, clap. All right. Up. Oh, already made a mess. <laughs> Use that. Alright, I'm going to take this over here and squeeze it. God, there's so much water in this. You should, like, put a slit. Like, a larger slit. Ah. Is that good? As long as you can pour. No, no, this. is uh, is the... <laughs> I just don't like it to be wet. I don't like the moisture. <laughs> so, uh, off to a great start here. <laughs> it's just like a huge mess already. Oh no. Plop this out. Well, is there any more water? No, thanks. Ba 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 ba. Let's plop this out. Oh, here we go. This is what this camera's for. Can you see this? Nice, nice tofu, silken tofu. Do we need to? So we're gonna cut this afterward, right? <clears throat> we recycle in this place. So yeah, this is just gonna. Sit like that. And then we'll move this over here. And we're going to get started with, I think, the Huevos Rancheros. Oh, right. Yeah, so we're doing that because it presses the excess moisture out of the, uh, the tofu. So that when we go to fry it up, it fries up really nice and crispy on the outside. Slap that tofu. <laughs> I did! You're not trying hard enough, so never any... Oh, right, yeah. If you don't make a mess, you're not trying. Oh! Yeah. Can you go uh, get rid of any VTuber redeems right now? The talking cat one's good. I want a burg, sir. Burger. Burger. We are going to be making burgers. Burger. Where is the mouse? Oh, oh, we ha can have the mouse over here. Oh, I'm so good. I set this up. 
but I don't remember what I was checking. Burger, burger. Oh, that's what I was checking. Gooby is working. I couldn't hear her the first time, but she's working. Uh, the black hole redeem and the change the world redeem, those still work. I made sure of that. Ugh, we need tortillas. A new burb has hatched. We've named them Vimes 03. What else do we need here? <laughs> so, I don't remember how to make these. I think we just... Oh god, there we go! No! Jesus! Did you actually fall down? <laughs> okay. Egg. When Eggs. I was a little girl, I was afraid of spiders. When I was a little girl, I was afraid of spiders. I don't remember the rest of the quote. But that's the best part, so... Yes, eggs! Eight. <laughs> Eight eggs? Are we making... Maybe we should half it. We'll do four eggs. Which is good, because... You know, we only have so much space in our refrigerator. <laughs> I didn't know this was for eight eggs. Conan eating eggs, cannibalism. Yeah, birds eat eggs all the time. Spiders have so many eyes and legs. I am a spider. Look at me. Look at my baby spiders. Oh my, my god. <laughs> I know what that quote is from. That's from, um, Battleborn. Ugh! All right, so how do we cook these into the puppy pastry that kind of... Because I don't remember if that was actually included. Uh, you just put the mouse over here. <laughs> and then... Now we can scroll. Eat less? Eat less? You eat less? What? I eat eggs. Oh, you should tell them about Battle. Oh. Battleborn facts. Um. There was a bird in it. There's a few birds in it, apparently. People tell me there was extra birds after they, after they released it. What's wrong, Kino? The nonstick skillet is right here. Okay. Unless you mean the big one. What, what one are you gonna cook the eggs in? Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't remember how to cook the eggs. We should have practiced this one. <laughs> All right. Preparing the tortillas, pour one uh, and a half cup vegetable oil in a skillet over medium heat. Okay, we can cook four eggs in this pan. Easy. Huh? Let's turn on the stove cam. Here we go. Stove cam. Now I use a... This one here is a uh, Food Ninja 
never stick, but it does stick if you don't if you don't actually uh, preheat it. You need to preheat the pan for like five minutes to your desired temperature before you uh, put anything in it, or it could stick. <laughs> but I have not had anything, you know, like really bad, like stick really bad. It's so easy to clean. It's like the easiest pen I've ever had. So we need two pans. One's for salsa, one is for t tortillas. <clears throat> Where's our normal steel pan? That in here? Oh, here we go. Beep. This is the tools of the trade here. A new here. burb has hatched. We've named them Christopher 4 Peb 1F. <laughs> Christopher 4, 4 Peb 1F. Welcome in. All right. So let's cook the tortillas in the steel pan and the other stuff in this one because it won't stick. We don't really have to worry about the tortillas sticking. There's going to be a lot of oil. We need... How much table... How much vegetable oil? One and a half cup. needs to heat up itself. <sighs> Oops. Here we go, making mistakes. It's okay. There's a little bit of oil in there now. Half cups oil heating over medium heat. Don't forget to clean as you go, everyone. Washing dishes stream, yeah. Oh, I should go put the uh. The, the bit incentives. I have one. Uh, can you give me that mouse a second? Thank you. We need... Scrolling text. Where is the scrolling text? There it is. There we go. Huh? Oh, yeah. 
So uh, if you give me 300 bits, I'll drink a Yingling. <laughs> I've got five of these to drink. And uh, if you do 500 bits, we'll do a shot of vodka. One of us will do a shot of vodka. Cause Sam, Sam said she'd do them, but uh, I know Sam can't do all the shots of vodka that people could probably try to make her do. <laughs> I can do like two. Do like two. All right. So how's this doing? Oh no! <laughs> Folks! That's the Curtis Connor thing. Just. <laughs> 300 shots of vodka. Uh. Yeah, we don't have that much vodka. Sorry! Oh yeah, also. Uh, for 100 bits, I'll eat a, I'll eat a hot bean. I still have all the hot beans. I don't, but I will. What if I cut my hand off live on stream? Would you guys uh, would you guys sub for that? Like that part in Drowning, Mona. We should have created. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna start crying. Wait, did I already get one? Wait, what? Did I get some? I... Yeah, so what? Oh! Did you get it out to recreate the scene from Drowning Mona? <laughs> I've seen it. Gotta get my hands off. <laughs> I can't. I'm, I'm... So, a little story about this knife. When we got it, within the first week, we both cut ourselves. Uh, this is a... This is an OXO, or whatever uh, the brand name is. Camping knife, so it's very, very thin. And uh, uh, it's very, very, very sharp. And it weighs almost nothing. So if you want to know a good way to ch uh, dice onions. Go like this. Oop. Don't cut it all the way through. God! Don't cut it all the way through! Too sharp. Not sharp enough. Okay. I don't know how to dice half the onion. I guess I could just cut... Okay. Just keep these over here to the side. This is actually advantageous now that I think about it. So now I can just slap that down like that. There you go. Diced onion. Get off of there. <laughs> what, chopping onions? Oh, yeah, slicing your hands. Alright, now you take the rest of the onion, toss that in the garbage. Then, pull it out of the garbage, put it into a plastic bag. You're going to want that garbage flavor later for seasoning. Oh, no. First, the onion and Julian strips. Julian strips are rings! 
It's okay. Do we need Dice Dungeon for anything else? Er, well, we can use it for the White Castle sliders, unless you wanted to use the yellow. Oh, I did want to use the yellow. Well... Oops. I showed everyone how to dice an onion, but we weren't supposed to dice it. <laughs> You're You raccoon friends would love that cooking tip. Yeah, yeah. You, you gotta get the ga that garbage spice on it. Um, well, we have some that are sort of chipped. I think chopped is fine. You said Julian slice. That's like this. Yeah. Only thinner. Or rings. There's your rings. <laughs> yeah, I'll make it a ring. Nasty. How's that stove doing? Uh, that's probably ready. I think it's been a five minutes for this. Is it supposed to bubble at all? No, just be hot. It just needs to be hot enough to fry the tortilla. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's, um, if you think it's ready, let's put one of these tortillas in it. Does it have instructions for the tortillas? Leave a little heat up, prepare tortillas for frying by poking holes in them with a fork. Oh, I got the fork, yeah. Can we do these all with... All at once. Don't worry, guys. I sanitized this all before for the stream. Everything is nice and clean. All right. Let's drop this in here. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but oh, look at that sizzling! Can you see the sizzling in the pan? Let's see. Oh wait, we need that thingamajig. There we go. So now what does it say? Just leave them in there? It says put your face really close to the oil so everyone can hear the sizzle. Can you hear the sizzle? I don't know if they can hear it. There's a noise gate. <laughs> There's a noise suppression. So... Uh, I wish I had a way to capture it. It's supposed to be capturing from the phones, but it's not. as they fry until they're golden brown. Alright. We're doing it. We're making this we're making this happen. <clears throat> this one I kinda need to it's kinda occupying me, so I can't come back onto the camera. I think maybe I need a better tool for this. Oh yeah, right. Good idea. Perfect. Oh. 
Hmm? Oh, yeah. You, I mean, you can ask them. <laughs> Sam wants to know what you guys' favorite foods are. Yeah, I'm not on mic, so it's a little hard to talk. I would just talk like you are mic'd, and it might pick you up. Out your mind trying to mess with the team. A warrior keeps it chill, calm and serene. Till a villain pops up in the civilian's path. And I step in and play whack a mole with my bow staff. Late night. This is why I picked this one for the first one, because I figured it would take a while and we could just press that tofu in the meantime. So the Mapo Tofu is up next. Subtract the whack at the fact that we hold it down. Just scream everything. That's what Klino says. That's a recipe for success. Good audio. Let's see. Uh the saga continues there's a whole slew of people chasing after me yeah we could try to if it doesn't work we have others i wish it i had a way to get audio in here i have one i have a microphone that i could bring downstairs and plug in Oh, look at it, crisp. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Because what do I do about the echo? How do you do... What do you guys... What do you do? Look at those onions. So Sam's really good at the, uh... Sam's real good at the thing with the, uh, pan. I got really good at flipping because I was too lazy to watch any utensils that you would use to flip things with. So I was like, I can just swirl. A new burb has hatched. We've named them Punk Wasp. Punk Wasp, welcome in. Let's turn off this one for now. Don't want them looking at my eggs. Oh wait, they're still in view. <laughs> Sock, welcome in. Just buy a cardoid last minute. Easy. I have a cardoid mic. The problem is that I... Uh, if I'm speaking into this, you guys are going to hear me speaking into the other microphone, right? Or should I just have that micro one microphone set up for the whole room? I don't... This is done. One. Done. I'm listening to the music you guys are listening to. Fried onions. Chop garlic. I got. Yeah, I got fresh garlic. Just for this. Uh oh. Uh, cam on. There you go. I didn't flip this one in time. <laughs> uh oh. We may have to. <laughs> we may have to stab another tortilla. This one may be not good. Well, yeah, but it's so brown on these parts and not in this part. It's okay. He's just oddly shaped. <laughs> I 
let's put the next one in. I was doubling the garlic for this recipe, but then I forgot to cap it, so now I'm quadrupling the garlic. Oh, what? Do you think that's enough? I like garlic. Yeah. Who really here likes garlic? Do you guys, if you guys like garlic, put a one in the chat. <laughs> it's playing like chocobo reggae. Oh yeah, if I if like if chocobos were real, we would have one. Maybe not right now, but like we don't have chickens right now, and eventually we'll have chickens, so we would have chocobos. Yeah, it'd be in the plan. All right, this guy's got this guy's good. Ha ha ha! There we go. Now we have all of them in the oil. It's cooking up pretty quickly now, honestly. So, do we even use this oil for anything else? Uh, the hot dyers. We use it to. I think we were using it to uh, No, I mean this oil specifically. What do we use? What do we use this for in the recipe? Anything else? It's okay. They need to be grilled anyway, right? Wanna stir them? Yeah. Be careful that I'm It won't scratch. That's another thing about this pan. Uh, they say that it doesn't scratch, and I have not... I don't believe that it doesn't scratch, because it's still a non-stick coating. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna use it as they say to use it, and then if when it breaks, I'll be like, "Hey, you told me this would never scratch and never stick. It's right in the name." If we have a medical emergency, don't worry. I'll put on ducks for you guys to watch while we go and uh, get a first aid. I don't know what Twitch's rules are about. Throw a clove in the tortilla oil. Do we have a clove? What are we supposed to do with the tortilla oil, though? Oh. A clove of garlic. Oh, we can still do it. I do requests. I think this guy's done. Cheeseburgers are a dinner item. Dinner menu item. Come back later. Ooh, look at this fried garlic. This is looking tasty as shit. Oh yeah. Ooh yeah. All right, this guy's done too.
All right, so we've got all of our tier tortillas. <laughs> now what? We're here. Uh, fry the garlic. You stir the onions. Five to six diced chopped. Whatever's easiest. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where's the Roma tomatoes? Oh, okay. Add five to six diced chopped Roma tomatoes, okay. You said stir this? Oh man, the aroma coming off of this uh, this little garlic piece I put in there, the clove of garlic. It's just so good. I love garlic so much. People say it stinks. I don't think it stinks. Get off of there. Where's that, uh, scoop? I'm gonna try to scoop out these bits. Still pretty clean oil. Sounds like some bug snacks music. A lot of this music I don't even remember downloading. Oh, Nights into Dreams. That's a great that's a great game. I could turn off the noise uh Yeah, I can turn off the noise filter and maybe you guys will be able to hear the cooking. Oh. Need to borrow this again. Are we still live? I can't tell if we're live or not. <laughs> it messed up the chat. Can you see the... Oh, God. IP cam. Eh, wrong. Whew, we almost had a massive failure. Okay, okay, I think... Get your hand off of there! <laughs> I can't put my hand on it! I think we're still live. Hang on, I'm working on it.
Okay, okay. Oh, that was spooky. What would I come over what did I come over here for? Hecking heck, now I can't remember why I came over. I got so scared. Okay, I need to turn on some things again. Bop, bop, bop. Luckily, OBS prevented the computer from shutting off. Oh, I needed to set the chat. Oh. Cooking with bird, yeah. There's always tech issues, right? <laughs> Did the black hole work? There was nothing to black hole because... <laughs> Oh, oh, I was checking my microphone settings. Filters. Alright, let's turn off the noise suppression. Oh, God. Um, shoot, it didn't work. I mean, it did work, but... Yeah, we had a we had a little accident. It's okay, guys. It's okay. We're gonna get it back on track. Change the world. I pride on that bitch. Goodbye. Okay, it should work now. You've been in a black hole for two years? Well, get out! Just get out of your black hole! I'm only trying to make things run smooth, but now I gotta worry about what you gonna do. You should have came to me to tell me what you're going through, but now you're on the wrong team, gotta own you. Don't you ever think about Alright, we turned off the noise gate and the noise suppression. You made a big leak and your shit might sink. I would have thought you would have thought, but I guess you don't think. You make me sick with all your tricks. You just might slip. Your feet lose grip. You're not Alright, don't make any sounds for a second. You broke in something that you just can't fix. You know that oil and water don't mix. Okay. Open the floodgates. Get ready for the flow. Do I sm do I sound bad? Do I sound real bad? Do I sound around the same? We're cooking Huevo Rancheros. Oh closed all of the stuff over here. Okay, there's that. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I had a, a whole bunch of stuff. Hang on, this isn't not this is not correct. I need to reset the cameras. This mishap is bad. Oh yeah, that's 
It's at 47. Okay. Alright, we're gonna relaunch the cameras. I don't know how you guys can still see... Okay, okay, I think I got it. Oh. Alright, everything is back to normal. We need... This. Recipe. A new verb has had everything We've closed, named them X O W N F O S. Uh, what does that mean? Let's do medium pepper. How's that? Okay. <laughs> crisis averted, everyone. Huh. <sighs> oh. One last thing. <sighs> this got resized. Oh, wait, no, it didn't. It just looks like that. All right. Crisis averted. The crisis is... The crisis is that... It could have been worse. It could have been we, offline. <laughs> okay, I'm at Kona turned into a cape? What does that mean? I think, yeah. You can add a pinch of cumin and oregano. I'm okay. Pinch of cumin to this. This is how we make a mess. Humans hard. No, I have so much. 
and a pinch of rare oregano. So can you guys hear like the grinder? I turned off the noise suppression, so I don't but I can't tell what you what you can hear. This isn't the spoon that I wanted. Oh, is it dirty? The skeleton one. Well, it's around here somewhere. It's not like it could just disappear. I also could just be overlooking it. It's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there meat in this? Eggs ain't meat. Cover three to five minutes. Oop, not ten. We'll do four minutes. So do we use the oil for the eggs? Okay. I see. Okay. Man, that would do the perfect job for our skeleton spoon, actually. <laughs> That's weird. Now it's now it's become a search for the skeleton spoon stream. Oh, <laughs> damn ladle! Hiding my skeleton spoon. All right, so eggs. Do I just dr drop them in? Just crack them in there? Embarrassing. Oh, I think I cracked that one. It's okay. It's okay. How do people do this? So once the egg cut browns near the edges, it's ready. Can you get me um, some salt? Do we add pepper too? That's probably good. Oh, I didn't. Do we have black beans? Can we refry black beans? 
<laughs> yeah. Look at how puffy they are. Can you guys hear the sizzle? Just waiting for them to brown. Definitely ready for uh, that thing. What is this called? <laughs> Mesh strainer thing. Okay, does the egg go on first? No, the beans go on first. <laughs> oh no, we don't have beans. I'm cooking the beans. Oh, you're cooking the beans? I mean, you should take it off the heat, though. Put it on the I mean, don't burn it. Egg overboard. All right, this, I think I got this down. These next two will be better, I think. I'm gonna turn the heat up a tiny bit. All right, here we go. If you guys hear something weird, that's the microwave going. <laughs> I'm wearing a wireless headset, so. But we gotta refry some beans. Ooh. Okay. Well, it's, uh, we haven't failed yet. A new burb has hatched. We've named them Sleepy Tech No Kid. Sleepy Tech No Kid. Oh, it's Sleepy Tech No Kid. Welcome in. <laughs> Sleepy Tech No Kid. Ah! It's okay. I don't think it burned me, burned me. I think it just was like, oh no! Uh oh. Okay. So I think I could just leave those now. They should be good to finish up. That is dish one almost finished, guys. 
ready to plate, but they need to be mashed. Yeah. Ooh. On. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> That's another thing I broke, I guess. Okay, what is all what are all these fake applications? Okay, we need to open up the Stream Deck application because it closed. Always time for number 13. There's more dishes. Yeah, we're going to be making three more dishes. The next one up is Mapo Tofu, suggested by Desolate Banter or Trash Panda Deso. Can we get a shout out for Trash Panda Deso? Great. Okay, I think done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Those are you done with, yeah. with they're done? <laughs> okay. Are you done with the beans? Oh no, he's deflating. Rip. If that could, if we could have got that on the top of the dish, that would have been our, oh. that would have been our centerpiece, uh, one. Gotta get all that oil off. We'll take a picture of each one of these. Oh, shit! We can't take a picture. Oh, all of our bones are in use? That's okay. We can put it up to the camera and I'll grab a screenshot later. Or someone can grab a clip or something. One of you guys can do something, maybe. Either way, I'll grab it later. Just scoop it on there and push it on there. Right? Yeah. I think so. That's how it looked in the in the video. I don't want a ton of online. Oh, okay. You don't like black beans? No, it's just we're gonna be eating a lot. Black beans are filling. All right, cool. What goes on next? A new burb has hatched. We've named them Kimirinum underscore. Kimirin underscore. Kimi... Kimirionum. Kimirionum? I don't know. I'm bad at names. Sorry, guys. Look at that.
That might be our prize egg. Right. Get those eggs on there. We got ourselves four nice looking Huevos Rancheros. Courtesy of Coral. Or if you're in our Discord, see me Wolf Boy. <laughs> Suff, I saw you resubscribe for a month. Thank you. Thank you, Suff. <sighs> I can't believe it. We did it. We made a dish. We did it. And we only had minimal technical difficulties. <laughs> minimal. <laughs> For my stream, that was minimal. Um, and you know what? Just to top it off, good old Cholula. Have it. The webcam. the webcam isn't on. Oh, I was putting it up to this camera, but. Oh, okay. There you go. All right. Should we do a taste test? How do you eat it? <laughs> I think you just scoop. Oh, this is gonna be so messy for me. Ah! No! My beak pierced the egg! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> um. Yeah, I need a napkin. I need a little nappy, please, to wipe my beak off. I'm gonna try this, but I'm gonna be a little more careful this time and use a fork. came up with this dish good job you deserve a raise from the dad because I'm sure you're dead My beak clean. Mm. 
damage. All right. Well, uh, this is a good meal. <laughs> this is a great. Yeah. This is a great dish. It's pretty spicy. I don't know how spicy serranos are, but I put two of them in here, so I think it's more than just the Cholula. Cholula, yeah. I can tell the difference between the Cholula spice and the serrano spice. I can't. I can't eat this like this. Oop. I'm gonna have to pick mine apart, guys. Peck mine apart. I already tried that, but it didn't work. Yeah, this is my favorite one yet. <laughs> ah! I like a good amount of heat. Clears your sinuses. I think that I'm breaking uh, stream etiquette. You're not supposed to eat on stream, I think. Uh oh. What is this? Swiss naive penguin. This is a clip. <laughs> Alright, let's look at this clip real quick and see what... open it. Why can't I hear it? Wait, is there no sound? Can you, you guys can hear me, right? Suff, is there is there sound in the clip for you? I'm afraid that I've been black holing my own chat or my own audio <clears throat> yeah but can they hear me in that clip the clip has sound okay that's weird <laughs> yeah I just uh slam it into my face That's great. All right, I'm gonna finish up this little bit. I'll eat the rest of those uh, once we uh, finish up the stream. The next dish might go faster. I'm gonna quickly rinse these off.
I feel like the sliders will go faster for sure. Are we doing the sliders next? No, we're gonna do the Mapo Tofu. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like the Mapo Tofu is probably the most complex one. The only thing complex about the Huevos Rancheros is the uh, frying the tortillas and the eggs. Did you guys notice all my birds? I don't know if you can see them, but there's one, 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 there's one. Did anyone redeem take your medicine? Did I miss it? Did anyone recognize this bird? Oh yeah, does anyone know, does anyone recognize this guy? Meow, 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 meow. Take your medicine. It's time to take your medicine. Meow, meow. Scree, ee, 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 ee. <laughs> It's gonna drive me insane. Things aren't working because my computer closed down. <clears throat> Gooby, this is a test. This is a test. This is a test. Oh, wait. I think I might know what's going on. A burb only zoo. So, the blue... The blue guy is in my, uh... <clears throat> is actually in my VTuber scene. Alright. And if you guys want the recipes to these, I can share them with you. I have a Google, I have a document that I will share in the chat, like, right now. And you could follow along at home if you'd like. Good luck, though. How do I share this? So how do we get rid of the... <clears throat> the oil? <laughs> or do we just use it? I use the stuff. Alright, let's see. What is the first step for Mapo Tofu? We toast the chilies. Heat your wok or a small saucepan over low heat. Add half of the oil and throw in the fresh and dried peppers. Uh, up here. But boom! These are bird chilies. Maybe I can. You didn't see that. You know, I'm getting kind of thirsty. 
usually I have you guys to tell me to do stuff, but uh, right now I don't have my VTuber, so you can't. <clears throat> but you did tell me to take my medicine. Gooby told me to take my medicine. Oh, we're getting dishes piled up. Dried hot as chili? Yeah. But, wait, is that what we bought? Dried hot as chili. Did you show that to them? Yeah. Yeah, great. I don't, great. I don't remember. Did we buy this one? I thought we we must have bought this. Oh. I can't wait for the dried hottest chili. Hopefully it's not too hot. It's the hottest. Can't be any hotter. Is that chili de arbol? I don't know. Ingredients: chili 100%. <laughs> well, that about covers it. Uh. Hang on. Ingredients. Chili, 100%. So that's how you know. Sugar? Oh, right. I need to do the take my medicine. Let's make a soda on my brand new soda stream. It's not actually brand new. I got it last year for my birthday from Sam. normally shoot off of there like that. <laughs> I don't know if you could see it or if I was in the way, but holy crap, it shot off of there like crazy. It's less, it's kind of anticlimactic because you do the suds and then you have to sit here and pour the stuff into it. It's not like when I was streaming before and I had the cans and I'd be like, alright guys, let's uh, open up a new LaCroix and I'd be cracking it into the microphone. That's the only thing I miss. I'm here to eat all the chilies. Kenneth. You can't eat all my chilies, you gotta cook with these. Are you here for the hottest chili? Or are you here for the bird chili? Alright, let's see if I can do this trick. Oh, it didn't work! Alright, time to take the medicine. I came prepared. There we go. Took my medicine. I took my medicine. It was time to take my medicine. 
<gasps> no! I hate how this moves around. <laughs> it's like, it looked like I had room to put that there, but then... <laughs> Whew! I don't want to lose any of my precious birds. Not even Hedwig. Hedwig got a raw deal in Harry Potter. Do you know? You, do you do you know what happened to Hedwig in Harry Potter? Yeah. Yeah. Do you all know what happened to Hedwig in Harry Potter? Wasn't she trying to like protect Harry from like a Death Eater or something, and she got hit with a spell and died? Can you eat these without cooking them? How much will you guys give me to eat this? <laughs> Those dried chilies are great. You give me three? Three what? You know, three. Twelve channel points. I don't know. It's not. I don't think I can do it for twelve channel points. <laughs> this looks like a hot pepper. Oh, yeah, that's a hot one, too. <laughs> Alright. So what do we do with these? Chop them? Yeah. Mozu Voltex said that they usually sift down the seeds. I think before you fry that, them. That's on these. Yeah, for the dried ones. These you thinly slice. I think it shouldn't be too hard to sift out the seeds. Yeah, if you just bust the top off. hottest part, right? What is the hottest chili? Does it have a name? Mozu, do you know what this chili is called? Is it just called hottest chili? They look like the bird chilies. Yeah, they look like the bird chilies, but I don't know. The Red Death. <laughs> That's what I, we should make a new hottest pepper. Like we should breed a new hottest pepper and call it that. Okay. Let's do it. We're, that's it. We found our goal, guys. We're gonna breed a new hottest pepper and call it the Red Death. Yeah, these are these are definitely bird chilies. But I don't know if these are. I think they are. Do we need- how many do we need? Not very many? Six to eight. Oh, six to eight? And how many of these two? One to two. <laughs> That's it! Oh my goodness. We got so many. Maybe we can dry the rest of the fresh ones. That was cute. Just mince them up real fine. Make a mask of the hottest peppers. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to make a mask out of the hottest pepper. 
I should, I should probably wash my hands off. I'm probably not going to touch my face on account of the mask, but... <clears throat> So what's uh what are we doing next? Oh okay. Easy. I chop the fresh ones up, or, or all of them? Yeah, we're just going to chop it all. It'll be fine. I should be wearing uh, gloves, probably. Well, uh, I need another hottest pepper. I need another hottest pepper. <laughs> Dropped it in the trash. Hey, this is the Knox theme. Yeah, that's, uh, that's to tell what the music is. It just reads the file name. <laughs> this is coarsely chopped. Is that what I'm supposed to do for the dry one? Um, yes. And then you can start sautéing and toasting them. In the wok? Yeah. <clears throat> oh god, I can feel it. I think this mask protects me a little bit from uh, the effects of stuff like that. I did just smell something though. So when did you first start cooking? Me? Yeah. Um, 
Um, shoot, probably not until like at least like 14 or 15, maybe maybe older. But it started with like bread. Uh, bird powers, capsation resistance. Yeah. But yeah, I started cooking with, like, eggs. Eggs are, like, the easiest. They're so easy to start with, and there's, like, no upper limit. And they're usually not too expensive. Eggs are just so good at everything. You can just souffle them. You can fry them. Bake them. What else? Make them in a, a quiche. That's baking them, I guess. Bake, boil, fry. Oh yeah, boiled eggs. Oh my gosh. Uh, whipped. I like Sunny the side up. Separate, you know, the egg. From the white and they have like different properties they're just so versatile eggs are like my one of my favorite things to cook it says to heat it over low heat but i don't think it's toasting at all yeah it doesn't feel hot enough so i'm gonna uh, Make the uh, make waffles with the egg white separated. Like the uh, like Belgian waffles. We did that the other day. Well, no, we made pancakes. Yeah, that's good. We tried to make what was it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's it? Was it like a souffle? Souffle pancakes. Souffle pancakes. It worked. It sort of worked. Well, our thing wasn't tall. Yeah, it was our, too tall. Our form wasn't quite right. We we had a form that was just too tall. And so it was hard to flip them because you had to basically take the form off. This is like the hardest ginger. Are we cooking it like this? It says finely chopped or minced. Finely minced. Oh, okay. Sorry, what were you saying? I don't remember, but, uh, yeah, that is hard. Yeah, it's weird. Is ginger supposed to be hard? I I've think so. Hard ginger. Our next meal has potatoes. Ooh. Do you want to mince the garlic? Sure. Three tablespoons garlic. You know, we could um, we could make things easier by mincing things in a oh, food processor. Oh, oh, oh. Remember, guys, you don't have to work hard if you have the right tools. Yeah, normally we grate it or something. How many of these? Three tablespoons. Okay. Alright guys, this is a little bit noisy, so I'm gonna... like that. Freshly grated, I mean minced garlic. 
You, you see it here, folks. Go out and buy you one of these tiny food processors. The lifesaver. Where's my spoon? This. It's so much. This one's tiny. This is all one piece. It's so easy to clean. The blade is one piece, and this is one piece. That's probably a tablespoon, right? Where does that go? We need three tablespoons. I know. Yeah, just use all of it. It's well. About, it's about three. I'd say it's about three. Maybe a little scant, actually. Yeah, that's why I was. I want all of the tablespoons. I want all that garlic. Do you want to put that ginger in here after? You gotta cook them separately. No, in here. Oh. I'm gonna mince it. Are you gonna mince more garlic? <clears throat> no, that's probably good. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Alright. So, we're just gonna take this ginger. I would do this on this counter, but I don't have any more outlets. Oh. Yeah, we, uh, Coda got, Coda got me this one. the <laughs> world. Right, yeah, this grinder's for coffee. And this grinder is not a grinder, this is a food processor. And it's processed. Mm, does it need to be more processed? Yeah, let's do a little more. Okay, it's not quite processed yet. guys easy ginger is one of the harder things to uh, you know chop up so being able to mince it like this is but you gotta cook the ginger first it says so uh, we had a little mishap we forgot to turn on the burner but yeah, we turned on the raw. We turned on the right. We turned on the burner, but not the right burner. So, <laughs> again, this is the problem of having four burners. So this is Bodum. What coffee grinder? Yeah, Bodum. It's got like twelve different settings and like four different kinds of. It is a blade coffee grinder, yes. The other one is in there too, it's just down underneath, up on the shelf I think. Is it not? Uh, I don't know, we use it to grind up, uh, not mushrooms. Or maybe salt? Is it, that looks like salt, or sugar. We use this a lot for like, yeah. Ah, yeah, that's powdered monk fruit. So we'll, we'll use that to powder anything, like monk fruit, sh salt. If you powder salt, you can use it to put it on like popcorn, and it becomes like theater popcorn. Good skooma. But 
This one was really cheap. I think it was like 15 bucks or something. Yeah, you can get a really, really cheap coffee grinder for probably even less than that. This one's Krups. I don't even know what that is. I think we got it on Amazon before, you know... Before we moved in together. Yeah, it's really good. Very effective. Krups. It's, uh, um, monk fruit is what was in there. Yeah, that was powdered monk fruit. Because, uh, the doctor told me that I was pre-diabetic or whatever, so I stopped eating sugar. Pre-diabetes is a thing. Well, then the doctor said that I was full-blown diabetic. <laughs> I have I know who has diabetes It's me I'm Wilford Brimley <laughs> Yeah, did you know that Sugar doesn't necessarily Raise your blood sugar Like, you know Spike it for everyone, like pe different things, you have to try to see like different things will raise. <laughs> I'm getting a raid. SCP one four seven one underscore. Well, welcome everybody. Welcome to the Mushroom Forest. I am Kona Bird, and today we're doing a cooking stream. Uh, we're waiting for some oil. You can see it right. A right new here. verb has hatched. We've named cooking. them thirteen heads. Getting it to. Uh... Yeah, we're making mapo tofu. We get a shout out for Mallow. Is it not gonna work? Is it not gonna work for me? Oh, you are, you're being, you're testing me. Hang on. <sighs> I need the mouse again. So earlier I accidentally hit the power switch on my computer and it almost shut down completely. Um. Okay, so why isn't it working? We're gonna refresh that. And then we're gonna try it again. Oh, I like the song that's going on right now. There it is! A new verb has hatched. We've named them Mr. Kids. <laughs> what is going on in this clip? Oh my god! Oh my god! Is it frozen? Music. Oh, the music is all fucky. <laughs> Was that Smooth Criminal? Bada 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 bum bum, bada bum bum, bada bum bum, bum. Well, thank you, Mello, for joining us. Come on in here. Alright, is this... is this going yet? It's not really hot enough to toast, I think. 
It says to do it over low heat, but I assume they're using like a burner. God, like a yeah, they always like are. Paint or I don't know. I don't know what they use. They they like they always have like little on YouTube. Like a. It's like a little burner. Yeah, like a little um. Like a little gas range, like a tiny yeah. gas oven burner. We're gonna get one of those, but a uh, induction. Yeah, we want to get an induction surface or whatever induction range. They make them like tiny little ones. They're uh, like fifty bucks, you, and yeah. you, then you can have an induction, you know, range. Yeah. A new and, burb has hatched. We've named them Scooterific. Scooterific, welcome in. Oh my gosh, you have a small one? Oh, you have one? Yeah, maybe we'll come over and get it. Yeah, let, uh, let us try it out. We've been wanting to try one for a long time. But for those of you who don't know what an induction stove is or induction range, it's basically a flat surface with a coil inside and it like runs magnetic something through the pan which causes the pan itself to heat up and uh so if you take the pan off of that surface you could touch it it's not hot it's literally just electromagnets causing the pan to get hot so not only is it faster but it cooks more evenly Oh, look at it sizzle! There we go. That's what we're looking for. I could hear it. It's not got a big sizzle on yet. How long should we sizzle? It says the uh, heat it toasts the peppers about five minutes. Make sure that they don't burn. Remove from heat and set aside. Heat the remaining half of the oil in my wok. Okay. Put it here. So I think we should just take the chilies out, leave the oil in there. Because mm -hmm. then we'll have like tasty chili oil. And then put the other half of the oil. And then use that. I th that's probably what you're supposed to do. So after that is done, heat the remaining half of the oil over medium heat and add the ginger. So we, ha we have to wait until that's done and then add the ginger. Is this all the ginger that we need? Just need to get all of this out? Yep. Okay. I'd say that's about three tablespoons. With things like baking, you know, you really gotta measure, but if you're just making, like, you know... Yeah, if you're cooking in a pan... Onions, ginger, it's like you just do it to taste. It's like the recipe's kind of a guideline. And if you like something, put more of it in, especially if it's healthy. If you like veggies, put more veggies in. Yeah, you'd be surprised how many things you can add some spinach to, and it'll just wilt. It's like just throw in a handful of it. Oh, wilted spinach is so good. Yeah. Just throw in a little salt of that on that. Oh, that's good. Especially just, in a pan. And then you get some extra veggies. I used to like to uh, make ramen. <clears throat> you know, just like regular packaged ramen. And then I would zhuzh it up with some like green oh, yeah. onions. Some extra like spices. I'd throw in more like... Maybe that's where I started cooking. With yeah. ramen, because I used to take an egg and toss it in mine. An egg in there, and I, I'll put like the spinach in the bowl first, and I'll pour, pour the hot ramen. Oh my god, guys! I wish you could smell this. It's really good. Can you, can you smell this? Yeah, I can. Oh my gosh! It can feel it in your sinuses. This stuff is this is fragrant. It smells so damn good. I'm getting so excited for the Mapo Tofu. They aren't veggies, they're leaves. They're still veggies. It's vegetation. 
or vegetable, whatever. Fiber. Anything. Folate, you need folate. Folate, yeah. Yeah, I love Toe Jam and Earl. I got two Toe Jam and Earl songs that play at random on my stream. I think. Maybe more. My, I might have three. Toe Jam and Earl Sounds like Toe Jam and Earl. But it, it was fun, but it would also give me a migraine. <laughs> it's like on the, um, you know, it was one of the, what are they? CRV TV? Oh, yeah, the CRT. CRT. It was like, I think that made the colors like really, I don't know, something It's the screen it. flicker. Oh, uh, maybe. The refresh rate is lower on those, so you can... Are funny. <laughs> what is it? Poindexter. Wiener. <laughs> but that's a fun game. I never got very far in it. Me either. I tried to play it on stream and I died hardcore. Oh my gosh. CRV is a car. <laughs> that oil looks great. Look how red it's getting. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And check this out. Everyone, go out and buy you a jar of this. Lao Gan Ma, spicy chili crisp. You can buy like anything. Is it Lao Gan Ma the brand? Lao Gan Ma is the brand. Oh, this is not. This is not chili crisp. This is bean paste. Yeah, it needs. It wants spicy bean sauce, but I figured this is basically the same. Oh, did you get scallions? Did I get scallions? Of course I got scallions. Alright, these are done. <laughs> right here. Boom! Check out my towel. Ooh. Look at our dirty dish towel guy. Look at our dirty dish towel. It's not dirty. It's, it wasn't gone because it was dirty. It was gone because I took it into the other room. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly disappointed Grandma Chili Crisp. Oh, is that... I always thought there was a guy on there. No, it's a grandma! <laughs> Oops. Wow, that's so sexist. You just assumed it was a man? Well, I thought from the picture that it was a guy. Yeah, this one's bigger. I don't know. I always... They have a very androgynous face. I always thought it was a grandma. But I don't know why. They look so young, though. God. It's like the more I look at her... The more I look at her, the older she looks. You guys are playing with me, right? Ugh. Now I feel like my whole life is a lie. <laughs> wow. Well, it feels like an eternity. Okay. Me and Lao Gan Ma go way back now. Wait, does this go in here? Uh, yeah. Hey, look at how red this is. Oh, 
without adding more. So is, do I need to put this back on the heat? Yeah. Maybe I should wait for it to get hot again. Okay, I'm gonna check on something. <clears throat> Just making sure that nobody uh, redeemed any bits so I can have a beer. <laughs> yeah, beer would go so good with Lagon Ma. Or a shot of vodka. <laughs> the Slav God Ma isn't mad, just disappointed. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, I almost spilled it. That's bean paste. Spicy bean paste. Ah! <laughs> I can't smell it! Oh, thank you. Thank you for petting me. <laughs> thank you for the pets, guys! Maybe I should taste test it? I don't know. Oh, actually I'm having second thoughts about this. Just because, like... I mean, just do a tiny little bit. Here we go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can't even see it. Oh. Oops. I'm gonna be honest, it tastes kinda like dog food. Maybe that's the MSG. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I'm was saying. Probably it's probably the MSG I'm tasting. Manufactured outrage to like put uh, to other China. Yeah, and to you know hurt Chinese restaurants or Asian restaurants. Oh, you know those Chinese people? They use MSG. That's poison. But it just you know it's really salty, so yeah, you shouldn't use too much. We have MSG powder. Oh yeah. We are a firm believer in MSG in this house. This is an MSG house!
yeah, if you want MSG, you can go to the store and get that accent stuff. All right, how long does this go? <sighs> After one minute, add the garlic. Well, it says, you'll just have to take my word for it, but it says monosodium blue thing on there. Yeah. Yes. Well, I don't know if it said to cook the garlic for a minute. It said to add the garlic. Sorry, add the ginger. Yeah, fry for another minute. Then turn to high. Turn to high and then cook. Uh, add the ground pork. Do you want to get the pork out? Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I should look at that. MSG is a sa is savory, but s you still need something naturally savory as a base. Yeah, I like to I like it on mushrooms. Yeah, it's an enhancer. All right, that's probably about a minute. Oh yeah, uh, shit, it's wait, is it frozen? No. Oh, thank goodness. But there, that is more than we need. Oh, it is? Yeah, because they only had it in two pound blocks or whatever. One pound blocks. We need half a pound, I think. Eight ounces, yeah, so half of that. Oops. Yeah, oh my gosh. So, uh, you want to make like homemade Doritos and definitely get Oh, yeah, that's the secret. Yeah. That's the secret to Doritos. So, you could put your powdered potato chips on your potato chips. It's good. <laughs> so Kona went and got like the fanciest meat, the, the fanciest ground pork. Wow, this is from a local butcher. Yeah, I went to the butcher to get this. And I'm going to have to cut it open or break it. I'm gonna embarrass myself on stream! There we go. So we only need half of this. So, it says, turn up the heat to high, add ground pork. Uh, then we need to add the ground peppercorn, Sichuan peppercorns. Do you want to get that ready? This is still a little frozen in places, so I want to break it up by hand. Just to make sure it gets nice and broken up. Oh, yeah, sorry. We need a second mouse. How does that even work? Oh, you know what we could do? We could hook in, um... We could hook the one from the TV in. Have a keyboard and a mouse on this side. 
We have a wireless mouse keyboard combo. How about after this? After this, we'll take a quick break, and we'll 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 do uh, we'll hook up that keyboard for one. What do you want to do? Do you want to go full on? Maybe we should split the difference and do a teaspoon. Okay. So, if you guys have not heard of Sichuan peppercorns, they are spicy, but not in the traditional spicy way, not hot. They make your mouth go numb, and uh, they make things taste different. It's hard to explain, really, but... It's crazy. Saltier. Oh, oh yeah. So we can go easy on the salt on this one. Yeah. That's one of the mistakes we made last time, I think, is that we added salt. If we need to add salt, we will add it later. <laughs> cook it for 15 seconds. Oh no, if you cook it too long it turns bitter. Add the spicy bean paste to the mixture. How much? Spicy bean paste. One to two tablespoons. Let's do one and a half tablespoons. Add chicken broth to the wok. Got our chicken bone broth here. How's our silken tofu? Well pressed. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that, everyone. Perfectly pressed. And it's firm now. <laughs> Two thirds cup. Here's our two-thirds cup. Actually, maybe not quite. It's 
So this is the Sichuan peppercorn, uh, but it's been grinded down and sifted down until it is this powder. And just a little bit of this stuff is enough to really give your whatever you're cooking with just a completely different flavor. <laughs> Or do you think it's supposed to be more brown than this? I guess that's probably cooked, isn't it? I think it's cooked through. Okay. All right. Uh, maybe you take it off. No, I think you just cook it for 15 seconds. It smells so good. It's like a floral scent. Add the spicy bean paste. Next, uh... How hot should it be? Just keep it at the same thing. It hasn't said to t change it. Yeah. Stir it in well. Is it well integrated? Uh -huh. All right. Add that, and then stir, let it simmer for a minute or so. While that's happening, ready your tofu and combine the water and, and cornstarch in a small bowl. Okay, I will prepare the tofu. What does that mean? Just into like cubes? Yeah. Okay. Maybe like cut it in hand. You can follow the grid marks. Bite sized cubed little cubes. I'm gonna do like this. Slicing it like this. Oops. What's taking you so long, Box? So I have I have got music in my headphones. <clears throat> the music that everyone can hear on the stream along with this I can hear. <laughs> okay, well that's done. Uh, did you do the cornstarch and water? This is one teaspoon. Cornstarch is like so hydrophobic, it just like shoots off with the spoon when you hit it with water. Ooh, look at that, look at that. Oh shoot, we were supposed to make rice too. Uh oh. Mmm. That's tasty looking. <laughs> it smells really good. 
I'm hungry, Fox! Get this guy off me, Fox! Okay, cool. <laughs> Go ahead and drop that in. Let it bubble away until the stuff starts to thicken. Then add your chili oil from here, or from before, with the peppers. Oh, we were supposed to put the oil... Well, okay. Whatever, it's still in there. We didn't take the oil out. That's the, that's the biggest part. Oops, guys! <laughs> there, okay, so... Okay. Oh, until it starts to thicken, and then we put the chili in there. Dang, look at this! So the way I usually test if things have thickened is that I will I'll scoop it up like this and then I'll just let it run off and if it's thick it should like stick to the spoon like a like an ooze like an ooze whoa careful careful when you're cooking oh. Don't judge me. Gotta have my vape. Gotta have my vape. Okay, Slippy was on the team because their father was on the team. Slippy's father was on the old Star Fox team. Things are happening. Is it getting real thick already? On the bottom. So we're going to add our peppers in. Uh, stir the oil into the sauce, add the tofu. Uh, yeah, it says gently toss the tofu in the sauce. Let everything cook for three to five minutes. Add sesame oil and sugar along with the scallions. Ooh, how much scallions? This is one scallion. One scallion. Is this already washed? I think so. I think I washed it. Well, I think I washed it a while ago. I don't know. Better safe than sorry. It's not hard to wash. I need a sharper knife. <laughs> I need to sharpen this knife. Hey, what'd you think of the new D&D movie, Kona? 
Uh, the D&D movie is the best D&D movie has ever been made. Yeah, I'd say that's probably true. It's, it's not the best movie that's, that's ever low, been made. It's a low bar to clear, though, isn't it? Um, yeah. It's looking pretty good. Uh, but it is, it is a good movie that, you know, it was inter- jokes aside. It was The Forgotten Realms. Yeah, the Forgotten Realms. It, it was fun. <laughs> so, if you like Dungeons and Dragons, you'll like the new D and D movie probably. It's got, you know, it's got humor. It's got birds. It's got dragonborn. It's got tieflings. It's got a. Uh, I'm gonna guess that one lady was a Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> and halflings and wizards it's very very faithful to what d and is you know supposed to be and what did you think? yeah they kind of work it in I would say they work the lore in pretty casually too like because the characters not wanting to leave the sword coast and then you know the plot revolves around never winter and then but you also get to hear about like what was it Baldur's Gate and like guys uh, from Baldur's Gate uh, so they go to three different places I think they go to Tribor and they go to Baldur's Gate and they go to Neverwinter do they go to Baldur's Gate? Or maybe they didn't go to Baldur's Gate. No. Maybe they just talked about no, going to Baldur's Gate. guy from Baldur's Gate, and then what was the other <coughs> town on the major city on the Sword Coast? Neverwinter. Neverwinter, and then there's another one. Starts, well, uh, Waterdeep? No, I don't know. That doesn't sound right. I don't know. Tribor? Maybe. I can't remember now. Tribor's where the uh, magician guy was. Um, I need to make rice. Do we have instant rice? Oh! So, you might, you might find yourself pressed for time sometime and you need to make rice. That's why you get minute rice. You can make it in the uh microwave one cup water one cup rice easy expecting it to be a real piece of shit and I was pleasantly surprised I think that's the best way to approach movies like that I was gonna I want to see this the uh I want to see the Mario movie next <clears throat> I don't want to give the Mario movie any money ouch I hit my beak I cannot believe I just dispense exactly of one cup. All right. The coil on the bottom. Uh, how many minutes does it say to, for minute rice? How did you do one cup? Uh huh. Okay. Well, I mean, six minutes. Six 
All right, six minutes for the rice. Six minutes to complete this day. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna take the chance to talk while the fucking thing's fucking up. <laughs> so, uh, you don't want to see the Mario movie. You don't want to give him money. Yeah, I want to see Mario. Yeah, I, it's the same reason I don't want to. I want to see the new Guardians of the Galaxy, but I don't want to see Chris Pratt. I like the new Guardians of the Galaxy. I feel like trying to make it super Yeah. Uh, so what did Chris Pratt do again? He's transphobe, right? Uh, either way, he's he's uncomfortable. Jack, thank you for the one month subscription. Ten months. Currently on a nine month streak. Damn. Wow. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Let's go, cook bird. We're almost done with this one, Jack. We're we're making mapo tofu right now. Uh. <clears throat> what? Here's the spot. Stove cam. Aha. Mm. That's gonna go on our rice, and then we'll be ready. What a death of a is. I thought he might be here, but I'm gonna steal the mouse again. Oh, yeah, they can also see it on Twitch. It saves it to Twitch. Yeah, but isn't it Yeah. I'll stop it because it broke the recording. Oh, oh, Discord is closed. Everything is closed! Crap. What to do with the shallots? A new burb has hatched. So cool. We've named them the Eliandra the underscore Waterside. Eliandra Waterside, welcome in. Stir until the skip. Adam and stir until the scallion are wet. Ha! 
Yes, so welcome in. Yeah, we're making your dish right now. As you can see here on the stove cam. Here it is. Mapo Tofu. We are making rice in the microwave right now because uh, I forgot that we were gonna make rice. But it should be fine. We're doing we're doing rice in the microwave. Is the fan on? No, that's the microwave. That's the rice. It'll be back soon. <laughs> there it is. Oh yeah, there is a fan also. It's a microwave fan. Oh, I turned it on. So that we could uh, wilt those. Here's the rice. Doesn't look too bad. We're gonna let that air out a little bit. Whew. That is, I don't know if you can see the steam, but holy crap. Uh oh. I think your phone just died. Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. We'll get the camera back up soon, guys. But for now, we're going to turn off the stove cam. And we're going to turn off this cam. And it's about time to do our taste test on... Just about... trying to be like, why don't you plug me in? Okay. So we're using our cell phones <laughs> to shoot this. This right here, this is a cell phone, and the one that's over the stove over there, that's a cell phone. And this one right here, this one right here, this is the one that I use for my VTuber. Trying to think what we need to do now. Bowls? Oh, yeah. The the rice is almost done, it's still Cooling. Our kitchen was clean. Our kitchen was clean. When we started. Luckily, if someone's standing, you know, where you're at, they can't see the counter. Oh, suck. The microwave was running. I'm, where, I'm using a wireless headset, and the microwave was running. I love the I love eating ash shirt. It's not an I love eating ash shirt. A new shirt. bird I has love... hatched. We've named them Calvin underscore Twitch underscore. Yeah, I love eating junk food. Eating junk food 
and beating classic games. Do you? Yeah, uh, <laughs> guess I can't wear this on Twitch anymore. Dot Twitch dot TV. <laughs> but th this right here, this was a steal. Oh yeah, this is like a hundred and nine dollar jacket. We got it for like thirty to no, box or something. It wasn't like Yeah, it was on clearance. Yeah. Looks good too. It's like 50% linen and 50% cotton. So it's nice. No polyester. Yeah, and plastics. it's very it's very feminine, so I like that. Alright, well we are ready, I think. This one, this one will be yours. Thank you. Is our stove cam back on? No. Uh, well, I, I never turned it off. That's okay. So this has uh this has Sichuan peppercorns in it just like it's supposed to. This is our child lock. For Gooby. Yeah. <laughs> Explain it. Um, Gooby likes to get inside the cabinets and she'll sit here and she'll be like. So we had to put a stop to that. <laughs> Kona Gooby roleplay moment, yeah. $34 for a jacket, I'd say it's pretty good. Yeah, it's, I don't know, probably super expensive name brand of some sort. And it says City Chic. City Chic, that sounds like a, not a name brand. Yeah. Oh, right, we were supposed to, I'm, I said that I would do I do a little bit of this. I'm gonna do a line of this. <laughs> Kota Gooby roleplay moment. <laughs> this is the Sichuan peppercorn. That's the good stuff, yeah. Alright. Did you get a fork for me? Wanna show. Pretty good. I don't think you have to have it with rice. No, but I feel like you need it with something. Oh, look at the rice just soak up that oil. Alright, let's see if I can eat this without failing. I can't really tell where my beak is. Oh my god. This one might be my favorite one so, so far. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm getting the tingle. Yeah, the... This one. 
So I got a high quality ground pork to go in this. Oh my god. You guys submitted some really good, really good recipes. I'm really excited for Racers. Racers is the Bratwurst, that's the one we're doing next. <laughs> bratwurst and then the... We need to do the potatoes first. Yeah, we're gonna do the potato dumplings. So next we're gonna be making potato dumplings and Bratwurst. Yeah, this is so good. I don't even know how to explain it. Like, the Sichuan peppercorns just kick this into... A just... It elevates it to just, like, a new level. It's not really consistent. Like, there is that in there from the chilies, but... I What? All you see is ass. Oh, yeah, my shirt. I love eating junk food and playing classic games. Do you? All I see is asses. <laughs> You know... It looks like it said I love eating ass. Someone else said that. I don't... It's just classic. Would that be against the rules on Twitch? I guess you can... Is this TOS, guys? Is this TOS? <laughs> Fans want to know. Is it's it fair. true? Um. I love eating mesh. I'm going to be a politician someday. <laughs> um. thing that could be better is the rice, I think. Yeah, we committed to sin rice. You can't, can't use minute rice and have a gourmet meal. But I would say this is as close as you can get. We have, uh, we have more... We can make more rice later. Alright. We have... Two more to make. So I think if I do this in the future, we're gonna have a vote or something. We're gonna have, and we're gonna pare it down to two. What's our runtime at? What is our uptime? Like three hours. Yeah, that's why. Hi, we're only at a two hours and thirteen minutes. A new bird has oh, wait, hatched. No. We named them Catra Corner. We we uh, we lost it in a in the beginning. Whew. God, it just it just makes me want more and more and more. 
Like, I think I'm addicted to the Szechuan pepper feeling. But no, if you really wanted a, a serious answer to that question, no, I don't like eating ass. <laughs> No offense to people who do, though. Everyone should be able to do what makes them feel good, I guess, or, or whatever. Unless that thing is making other people feel bad. Just because your t-shirt says it. It doesn't even say that! Yeah, I like Spice Tingle. Alright, so what do we need to do during the break? We want to set up that keyboard. Yeah. That should be pretty simple. Uh, we'll get your camera working again. Did we not do that already? We made kind of a We did spicy peanut dragon noodle or yeah, whatever. It's not real Dan Dan. We were trying to find a recipe for Dan Dan noodles when we got that one, I think. There it goes. Whew. All right. Uh, I think we're going to go on a maybe like 15 minute break while we set things up for the next for the next meal. A new meal. verb has hatched. Spout. We've named them Spout. Welcome. We're about to make potato dumplings with bratwurst and then copycat White Castle sliders. But we're about to go on a break here because uh, we've been standing for three hours but I'm gonna put on ducks for you guys like I said if there was an accident that we needed to go on a break then I put ducks on for you guys so uh, let me get around to the duck zone <sighs> bring in the ducks My ducks. Yo, where are my ducks at? Remember, if you see a duck that you like, let me know and you can name it if it doesn't have a name already. Are already underway. 
All right, we'll see you guys in 10 to 15 minutes for the next meal. Good luck with the ducks and enjoy the music.
A new verb has hatched, we've named them McDodgerman.
forgot my mask. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Kind of said it would happen. <laughs> but I think I made it. That's what you get for hitting the weed on the brake. All right, so we cleaned up a little bit. <laughs> the whole cloud transition. <laughs> but yeah, oh, we should clean this up. Oh yeah. Well, it was out of use. So <clears throat> uh, but we cleaned up a little bit, and we upgraded our situation here with our mouse. I think now we can use the mouse from this side without having to uh, compromise the mouse on that side. So go all the way to the left. There you go. Now we're making uh, bratwurst and I think it was called oh gosh cart Cartophilus? Yeah. Cartophilus? I think it's Cartophilus. Which is a potato dumpling. Uh, you know, about the size of, you know, like, a steamed bun. Oh, it, how many pounds? So this was not cooked, actually. Oh, it wasn't? No, but I cooked it today. Okay. Alright, so we were supposed to have one and a half pounds. Oh, let me check this. Stove on. Okay, okay. Good. Hell yeah. On. Alright, how close did I get to one and a half pounds? Oh, there's Gooby. Gooby! Oh, time. Gooby, let's see if we can get Gooby to do a trick. Gooby! One pound, two point six ounces. Uh, one pound. One pound, two ounces. Two point five, two point six ounces. I did pretty good. All right, I'm trying to get a. Sh I'm trying to see where Gooby is in frame. Maybe it won't be so bad. It'll just have a little more. Okay. Okay. Oh, egg. It's just held together with like eggs and flour and bread. Gooby. Where'd she go? Gooby! Let's see if we can get Gooby to do a trick. I've got it on the one in the middle. So you can actually see her. Gooby, Gooby! Up! Good girl! Touch! Good girl! I don't know if you can see it. I tried to get her to do it. Yeah, Gooby, maybe we can get her to do a fist bump. Oh, right, we could just do this. Alright, Gooby. Gosh, she's so slow at eating. Gooby, fist bump. Gooby, fist bump. Good girl! <laughs> Did you get it? There you go. Got it on film, guys. Got it on film for the first time. 
Oh, goodbye, Gibby. There she goes. I don't know. She was sleeping. She was like super warm when we went to look for her on the Yes, she might. <laughs> Gooby time while we get these while we get these potatoes uh oh, yeah. we need prepared. To boil the water. Boil the water for the potatoes. Let's use a large pot. We can use that one. They'll fit in that. Do we need to take these eyes out? It doesn't really have any they large ones. Uh, they are cleaned. I cleaned them last night. She's getting ready. <laughs> she walked away. I don't know. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> All right, please. Next cooking stream idea. The Get a GoPro for on Gooby. Oh my god. Attach a GoPro to Gooby. I don't know if she would walk. Uh, that's the only problem. She won't wear a harness. Oh, she ran upstairs. All right. Well, unfortunately, Gooby doesn't want to join us. There we go. <laughs> we got it this time. <laughs> you guys ready for the potatoes in water stream? Come on, Indy. Yeah, we're gonna boil the potatoes. Yeah, boil them in the jacket. <laughs> yeah, place the potatoes in a large pot over and covered with salted water. Do you put salt in the water? No. I was thinking about Well, <laughs> I, was gonna make a, I was gonna make a political joke, but I don't know if I should. Oh no. I was gonna say, according to Trump. Okay, well, that's probably good. I don't know how much I don't know, he said salted water. According to Trump, that's all it takes. You just think about it. Bad luck to be Trump on your screen. <laughs> Let's just think about it, and it's done. A new verb has hatched. Jason We've Finch. named them Jazz Zero N underscore Fin. Thank you for the follow. Come on in here. <laughs> I'm having fun with that. Welcome to the Mushroom Forest. You know what you get in the Mushroom Forest? Your own little tiny mushroom house. 
you get to go in there and live there and then you can pay me back over time just like in Animal Crossing I'm like the Tom Nook of the Mushroom Forest maybe I should make that a little smaller The uh, the stove cam takes up a lot of space. Let's just turn the stove cam on. We all know what the stove is doing. Yeah. When we're over a new there verb doing has it, hatched. We've named them 420 we'll butt stuffs. 420. Oh, I don't think anyone's gonna buy me a beer, so maybe I'll just eat a beer on my own. Huh? I mean, when, when else are you going to drink? Yeah, we're going to FWA, and I want to have, I don't want to have, well, my dad would probably have some. Does it go bad? 420 butt stuff, 420. <laughs> no, beer doesn't go bad. Vape Nation! Is that 420 butt stuff, 420 will like your shirt? Oh, probably. Gooby hair. Ah, oh, gooby. Oh, we all know what the, the potatoes are doing, except butt stuffs. Well, here's the potatoes. Oh, see, if, if uh, we had not cooked the bread, then we would have had brown butter. Oh, uh, well, it had butter on it anyway, which is browned in the oven. That's true. I think it'll be good. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> I got garlic bread when I was supposed to get normal crusty bread. Oops. <laughs> I think it's gonna turn out fine, though. They're, they're really boiling now. Over medium heat? I should probably turn them down. Oh, yeah. You can take the... Let those potatoes breathe. Uh, bring a pot of salt through the water to Wait, simmer. Let's just reuse the potato water. Yeah. Oh, hey, potatoes, calm down over there. How dare you splash? So this is going to take about 20 minutes, at least. <clears throat> While the potatoes are cooling, melt the butter in a skillet. Add breadcrumbs, cook, stir. I guess let's just add some butter to a skillet. Yeah, we could do this now. Potato water will have soil and starch in it. Yeah, I did clean them off a little bit, but it probably will bring out more. The starch would probably be fine, because we're making a dumpling. We're going to put flour in it. Uh, but I don't want the dirt. Well, we're also going to peel. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Also, we're not even uh, we're not even at the point where we're gonna be doing that yet. We still need to cook the croutons. I'm trying to find the mouse. There it is. Do, 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 do. We're at the potatoes right here. Place the potatoes in the water. Yeah, but Drain and let them cool. Oh. Nutmeg. We're gonna use some fresh ground nutmeg. Whole nutmeg. 
Because we fancy. Where's um the greater? Yeah. Is that in the box over there? You'll nut my whole mag. What? Oh, we can use the zester, I guess. This is a zester. So, it's just a pinch. Um, well this is a cheap zester. I want a KitchenAid stand mixer. I bet there's a ricer and an oh, attachment in the KitchenAid. Made. Oh yeah. Probably. KitchenAid has so many different attachments. You're going to be cooking the bread still anyway. Uh, I wonder how much bread it needs. Wait, so it's not cooked? It wasn't cooked. I cooked it in the oven. Well, but then we don't need to cook it again. I think you're supposed to cook it up with the butter, like, to toast the sides and everything. To make croutons. I think it's already a crouton. Okay. I don't know. What what does everyone oh I can't Ugh, move it? Oh. Is that a this is pretty dry. Here. Wait, is the is your mic out? Oh, my mic is not. Oh my, my mic has been in this whole time. <laughs> mic in. Oh my God. There's a pinch. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool. Oh my gosh! Shit, look at that. <sighs> Maybe this can show it better. didn't notice a difference. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe it would help with you guys hearing Sam, though. Oh, I didn't thought they could hear anything. I think that they can hear you. Can you guys hear Sam? little bit. I hear words that are not bird. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I try to stand so that you can hear Sam. <clears throat> yeah, we didn't have another mic. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do for like a room microphone for quality in a room. We're picking up like Maybe. multiple people. I'm not sure if it's work if if it does that or not. I've got an AT2020 XLR mic upstairs. That's what I use for streaming normally. Turn the food into microphone. 
That's a good Oscar, question. welcome in. You're, well, you're just in time to watch the cooking, the second half of the cooking stream. You missed the Gooby cam, but you can always watch the VOD for that. We got Gooby to do a fist bump on stream. Hi, Anne. Salt and pepper. For two potatoes. Um, yeah. I wonder if anyone clipped me almost getting, uh, almost, uh, face revealing. Yeah, almost doing the face reveal. <laughs> I remembered at the last possible second. You have a photo of a bread roll that shredded cheese and pepper on it. So you never forget it? Yeah, that sounds pretty nice. Well, you know, pictures of bread have less calories. I like a lot of pepper. Uh, we're gonna do just a little bit of cayenne. What was that? A notification just happened on my computer. Pixel 5 disconnected. Yeah. I shall investigate. Still shows it. Still shows it. Let's check the stove cam. I'm gonna brown this butter. Okay. It's twelve time. It's twelve time to become demons. Only 11 here. Yeah, it's only 11 here. We're in the Midwest. It, the stream 100, it cut out. <laughs> What, once it turned 11. What the heck? Maybe the server's in uh, a place where it's midnight. I don't know. Or... Huh. I think it's done that before. Monster Hunter World is a very good game. I, I didn't do anything. I didn't touch anything either. Oops, sorry. Yeah, it just restarted on its own. Conabird is now live, streaming just chatting. Sick! Just in time! 
Yeah, and if if the stream just restarted, that means I think that uh, the take your medicine redeem should be restarted. If you guys want to hear it, I'm not taking more medicine though. Meow, 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 meow. Take your medicine. It's time, it's to, time take to take your medicine. Meow, meow. Hopefully these potatoes don't explode like that other guys did. So we have, have to pull... Yeah, oh, maybe we should test them with a board. Test them with a fork? Yeah, like that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay. Not tender. Fastest worm in the West. I should eat a fork. I can't. I tried. It's just very hard. Is it? Do you think this is gonna make good croutons? Yeah, they look tasty. Great. Yeah, I picked up some garlic bread. And that's what we're using for croutons. See, it's still kind of soft on the inside. That's why I was like... Well, we can, we can still toast them if you want. I am melting the butter already. The butter does not stick. <laughs> Do we need any more uh, garlic for this? Uh, it doesn't look like it calls for garlic. Germans are afraid of garlic, right? I think I read that. Fresh chives, though. Yeah. Frogboard King. Which butter? Whoa! I almost. Which butter? The Kerrygold? Irish butter? Or the Lando Licks? Unsalted. Divide the pie, subtract the whack at the fact that we hold it down in every city on the map. Fancy gold. If you want a fancy, yes. high quality butter, carry gold, Irish butter. It's, um, I don't know, it's just very creamy. You know the space, you've seen it on the TV. Like, it's cold. This is just came out of the fridge, and this is like squishy. How much of this do you need? I don't need any. Oh, you don't need any? No. Oh, well, he's going back in the fridge? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we just, we just toss these in here. Take the landscape from video games to fame across the range of America, the Great Plains. The Chicago sewers got less rats than back home. What would you do if you lived under the throne? Yeah. Do we need more? Oh, okay. 
so we don't need more. We only need enough for four, and then we'll cut up some of the others. Well, let's maybe do like one more. Okay. Well, I'll get a stick of the, or half a stick of the cherry gold. We'll put some of the big ones in there. Uh, into the center. Oops. And then we can, um, the scrawnier ones, we can use those to smash up. Potatoes went off. I don't think they're done. How's it playing this song again? How many sticks of butter can you steal from your fridge? I don't know. My refrigerator is operational, but it's stationary. What is that? Have to do with anything? Uh, Oscar asked if my refrigerator was running, oh. and I said it's operational but stationary. Oh, I see. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Clean this off. Do we, do you want this crumbs? Uh, I don't know if we need them or anything. Oops. Sorry. A lot of the cooking that we do is just with like stuff that we have around the house. Like we just throw it together usually and a lot of times it comes out really good. You don't need like an education to cook. You just all you have to do is try and make sure that you know if you're cooking meat, follow guidelines for temperature. Get yourself a thermometer. You don't. You could take all of the guesswork out of cooking. Follow a recipe. A good recipe. Yeah. Explain what you're doing. But even if it's not one like that, if you follow a recipe to the T. A lot of times your stuff will come out good if the recipe is not a bad <laughs> recipe. We've had a couple of recipes that were bad. I'd say that butter looks pretty brown. What do you think? Yeah. Alright. What else goes in with these croutons? Um, nothing. They go in a <laughs> but like I was saying earlier, I started out 
getting into cooking just by uh, adding things to ramen. That's how you start. <laughs> the yeah, more you... Uh, well, I mean, it's just experimenting with food is how you start with cooking. Can everyone look away for the fridge so you don't see biblically accurate form stealing butter? Can't see the fridge. Sam's in the way, so. Start, you, I thought you started by grabbing your ingredients. We got a comedian up in here. No, really, you have to start by cleaning your kitchen. <laughs> Crouton. The webcam is actually pretty good at focusing on, on things up close. Yeah. Right. I saw it do it earlier. Right here. Oh. <laughs> I need that for oh. oh. No one saw that. Thank goodness. Oh god, wow, that's good. Holy crap. The croutons are so good. You think they're done? They're getting there. They're not done yet, though. Maybe the... Maybe our pen was just a little too shallow. Let's top off the water a bit. Oh, I boiled the water. All right, it's reboiling. Do you guys have a favorite food? Took Arlo out to pet him and he walked into his crate. <laughs> Connor doesn't have the amazing, cool rainbow stainless steel silverware. I told you that we should get that. Dang it. think of anything. You need to boil salt, more salty water. Okay. We're boiling water in a <laughs> in an induction um, kettle. Uh, this is by OXO, like a lot of our things. 
because I am obsessed with that brand. But you can set the temperature and everything, and it you can read it in Celsius and Fahrenheit. And oh wait, I didn't even like show you guys the kettle. And it's just like a, you know, slow pour kettle. But it sits on a little base over here and it heats water like really fast. How should we cook uh, I think we're gonna cook them in a pan. I think we're gonna cook them in a the skillet. Dumplings take ten minutes. And then ten minutes. Like Flip the dumplings minutes. in ten minutes. Oh, okay. So Let the dumplings prep. sit. We got thirty minutes. Let's do some prep for the white castle sliders. Okay. What do we need for those? Um, onion? Yeah, chop up an onion. This one I don't have to be careful with. So, the song sounds like it's from Persona. This is a yellow onion. We're gonna use this in the White Castle sliders because that's part of the secret to a White Castle's perfect burger taste is the onions. The burgers are cooked uh, on a grill on a bed of onions. Finely diced. I guess there's not much prep we have to do. I mean, maybe we can start making them. Yeah, we can just start making them. I promise not to slice open my hands, guys. Present to be a very hard choice here. So give me this. Which, uh, which of these goes into the White Castle sliders? You guys choose. Golden onion or onion? I'm gonna put these over here and continue chopping in the meantime. Knives need sharpened again. Yeah, I think you said that already. Yeah, I know. It's just thinking about it again. <laughs>
gave that whetstone back to them. I bet they don't even use it. Turn it up. Yo, you're looking like you think that I don't know. Thinking that the signs of a lie don't show. Oh yeah. Little by little, Did you get around me? More, so I'm gonna give you some. My parents so are watching. No you more. better use that oh whetstone. Do anything for a little paycheck. I'ma tell you short, simple and basic. It really doesn't look like you're gonna make it. You make me sick with all your tricks. You just might slip. Your feet Sorry, what did you ask me? Oh, I asked you if you got ground beef. Okay. I did get ground beef. You know that oil and water don't mix. Perfect, two pounds. You got so close. I know, I did try very hard. 2.01. I know. I tried very hard. I was digging through that freaking case. Trying to find one that was just two pounds. <laughs> I'm only trying to make things run smooth, but now I gotta worry about what you gonna do. You should have came to me to tell me what you're going through, but now you're on the wrong team, gotta own you. Don't you ever think about how they all say everything that you do comes back always. You made a big leak and your shit might sink. I would have thought you would have thought. Maybe I just need to use the honing thing on it. With all your tricks, you just might slip. Your feet lose grip. You're not that slick. I'm much too quick. You broke in something that you just can't fix. You know that oil and water don't mix. I think the mask is preventing me from getting the tears from the onions. Yeah, the felt on the inside may be soaking up before it gets to my eyes or whatever. You just want to keep chopping this until it's real, real fine. Do we use? Do we usually use the food processor for this one too? Yeah, you can. But you're doing a great job. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna chop it. Doing my best to keep it on the cutting board. Remember everyone, if you cook with onions, you need to make sure that you keep- and you have pets, you need to make sure you keep them off the floor because onions are toxic to dogs and cats. So if you chop onions, make sure you go and pick up onions off the floor because they always fall on the floor for me. Something about onions makes them slippery. When you chop them, they just shoot out from underneath the knife sometimes. <laughs> Some shoes? Ah, oh, I should show you guys my shoes. I can't put my foot up on the counter though. Maybe at the end of the stream. Alright, well, I think these are good. Yeah, that's pretty fine. Oh, go ahead. It's hot. It's not hot. Oh, okay. So, do we have to take these out of the skin? Yeah. This is an up glove. This is another tool that I use all the time. Do we need the skins? No. You can just sort of rub the skin off. Pretty easy. 
We don't want none of these skins on here. No skins. This meat looks pretty good too. It came from Price Chopper. They were having a sale on ground uh, beef, 93% lean or whatever. 90. 93% lean. Wow, that's very lean. I couldn't even find the like ground shot. There's an eye. We uh, we sometimes use turkey too. Instead of beef. This is the only one we we had made before. So we know what we're doing with the white castle sliders. I don't know what I'm doing with this potato. What is this thing? It looks ugly. What the heck That's is a pug? So not cute. What's not cute? What? Ah! Wrong hand. Oh my god. Hot potato! Oh yeah, did what was the consensus on the Lipton. Oh yeah, did anyone say which one to use? Because I'm, I think I want to use the golden onion. Well... Let's use the golden onion, since nobody decided. Well, I, I don't know, I wasn't watching the whole time. Doesn't look like anyone decided. Okay. Golden onion. You know what's good? Potatoes. You don't even have to do anything. You could just put, bake them in a... Bake them in a... Shit, what do you call it? Tin foil. Bake them in tin foil. Eat them just right out of the tin foil. You don't even need to put salt or anything on them. That's how tasty these things are. Very starchy, though. Gotta make sure you cook your potatoes. If you don't cook your potatoes, they are bad. I don't remember why. Uh, raw potatoes are bad for you. Some, some, they're poisonous for some reason. Some chemical that your body can't process. They're in the nightshade family. They have like, I think, I don't know, I think they have some sort of like alkaloid in them that when you cook it, it process it like, breaks it down, but you can't eat raw potatoes, You'll, you will get sick. Gonzalo, welcome in. How are you doing today? Come on in, eat. Now, uh, what do we need? Chop up the potatoes? Mash them? Smash them! You could do them right, right here, maybe. Far away. We can do it on the stove. Whatever. Raw potatoes 
have solanine and lectins. You want to eat a yummy dinner? Quick work of potatoes. <laughs> oh shit. We made something a little bit similar to this the other day, but we used the wrong kind of potatoes, so they didn't turn out perfectly. But I don't know, I still enjoyed them. We use uh we made them with the Sichuan pepper and uh, a rotisserie chicken and one thing one problem was it was too salty we messed up it makes everything taste more salty and we added too much salt I think overall What is the next step on... <sighs> these dumplings? Eggs. It might need a full before you add the eggs, because you don't want it to cook the egg. Oh, okay. Push them in a large bowl. Mash and season with nutmeg, cayenne, salt. We can just put the seasoning in. So just put all that in there. Smash it up some more with the potatoes. They're pretty tasty, honestly. Get all the spices in this potatoes. Do you guys like spice or no spice? Or do you like like a medium spice? What level of spiciness do you guys prefer? A new burb has hatched. We've named them Samasu Creative. Samasu Creative, welcome in. We're making some, oh gosh. Cart, Cartasso, I can't remember how to say it. Cartoffel cloths? Cartoffel cloths? Close? I can't remember. You love it spicy? Some like it hot. What's your what's your highest spice level? Fancy ones. Where are those at? Oh, here they are. These are from straight from Florida, right? I think so. So this one's probably really good. This is a Serrano lime. And uh, this one is a hot sauce. It's just called the Kraken. hurting my tongue <laughs> you can see it's got corns in it uh, it's got the seeds in it oh my god no wonder it's so hot 
This one also has lots of seeds in it, but Serrano's not as hot. We need to get a bread knife. For real. If anyone has a bread knife they want to give us, <laughs> thank you. Little dog curled up in tiny sleep. I love a little dog. Ah, right on! Got a volunteer. So right now we're just waiting on this to cool down enough that we can put eggs in it without cooking the eggs. And ah, uh, we're boiling some water over here to put the potato dumplings into. Uh, these are going to be the buns for the sliders, which we are prepping right now. Oop. Hang on, I just realized something. At least I think. Uh, I think we normally, yeah, build at least a barrier so that the, uh, so the stuff can't escape. But yeah, these are going to be the tops of our sliders, tops and bottoms. Um... This is going to be the bed that we cook our hamburger on. So I think what we normally do is just put foil down. Yeah, but then we build it up on the sides, right? Because we want, well... I feel like if we, the no, goal wait, was to... we put to... the onions on top. Yeah. We'll spoon them over the top. Okay. Yeah. Well, you put the onions on the bottom, then, or, or around the sides, yeah. and then you spoon them up on the top. Yeah, that's it. So, the, so what we're going to do for the sliders is, uh, well, you can see what she's doing over here. Uh, the... Onions are going to go in here and around the hamburger. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hot. And then, once the hamburger is cooked, we're going to take all of the onions from around the side of it, put them on top, and cook it again. I got that one in case it was not two pounds, or whatever. <laughs> or I got that one in case it wasn't one pound. Oops, I didn't see it. Oh well. How much did we need? We needed one and a half pounds. Oh. We had two ounces. Didn't we? So we needed. Is it, is it six? Oh, it's gone. Yeah, we need one and a half pounds. Yeah. Ounces. Where's the scale at? I put it back. Oh. I didn't think we needed it again. I thought this maybe weighed half a pound. Yeah, you probably were pretty close, actually. Oh well. We'll have a little less potato and a little more dough. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, not a not a bad thing. We can um make less or something. 
<laughs> Redeems pride bird. Oh. <laughs> you shouldn't be able to do that. What do I what can I do to emulate pride bird? Here you go. <laughs> it's almost there. Oh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Whoop. I feel like it's playing the same five songs over and over. <laughs> huh. well. I can't hear anything. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Many? Oh, I already got them. Oh, you already got them out. Oh, you're so good. I accidentally cracked one. Guys, I would not be anywhere without Sam. We share a brain cell. I just usually am the one holding it. Where is. Where is the egg? Do you think this is cool enough now? I don't know. You tell me. I think it's probably cool enough. I th yeah, I think so. That's what I... It's like... I don't know. But I feel like this won't be too bad. So what do we do with the eggs? Just put them in there yeah, and, and mix, it. mix it with like a spoon. The hardest part about these eggs is they have such a hard, like thick membrane. So even if you crack through the shell, the membrane just won't break. Where's my spoon? Skeleton spoon. So don't mix it too much though. this pretty well mixed. I think we can probably start to form our dough balls. Uh, oh, we need to put flour in it. Oh. Oops. Well, let's uh, put flour in it.
We need one cup of flour. Yeah. That's the only place you need it, so... Stir in a cup of flour maybe... until incorporated. Yeah, maybe a... You'll know when to stop. Is this the flower? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna have to watch this, the VOD because Saturday's your busy night. That's okay. Yeah, we've been having a lot of fun, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I've been having fun. They like to cook, so in case you haven't noticed. peanut butter in there already? Yeah. The secret ingredient, as Sam was about to tell you guys, is the peanut butter. Right That's what makes the White Castle slight. Here is some support bitties for trying new things. Aw, oh, thank you! Thank oh, you for the 100 bits! the whole thing in there? Uh-huh. You're supposed to, like, add it a little bit at a time. Oh. Well, it'll be fine, I think. Well, it says stir in flour until, just until incorporated. Do not overmix. I guess maybe it, it doesn't say that. Maybe you're good. Yeah, I think it... I just did it as it said. I didn't put I it just, all in one like, I clump, I thought though. one cup was too much, because we didn't have as much potato. Oh, right. It might be. Maybe we can get it. Maybe we can get this to work. It'll be fine. to make our potato dumplings. But yeah, thank you so much, David, for all of your support. You were there at so many of my streams, and you've always been great. And if you were here, I'd share some of these dumplings with you. Yeah, come get some dumplings. Oh dang, you got that pretty well mixed yeah, already. Let's put that aside for now. We can focus on the dumplings. So I think it says it says to dampen your hands and scoop a spoonful of dough into your palm. Shape it into a circle. 
make a light indentation and place two or three coupons inside. Let's make uh, eight dumplings. Come on. Maybe we should. Oh, they can't see. Oh well. Ah, oh, they can't see. They can't see. Well, they couldn't see. Oh, wait, they could see it. <laughs> the handle popped off. Maybe we should section it out into eight yeah, sections. Yeah, we need to section it out because that's too big. I wonder if there's a way we can get that to stay on. I love this hand. I love this spoon. I love spoon. Yeah, the uh, silicone spoons just don't do mixing super well. They're good for other things, though. I'm gonna uh, boil some more water. I think this is Mario Sunshine music? We didn't need to have it on this long. Crouton me. This is a trick you can use for sushi rolling too. You just get some water. Uh, sometimes also having salt on your hands, salty water helps. But uh, anything starchy or sticky, if you just wet your hands, usually you can form it way better. It, it does say damp though, not like wet. Your 
hands are pretty wet. Well, whatever. They're gonna be going into boiling water. Max. abused. <laughs> Oscar, how are you happy? <laughs> yeah, it's about to it's about it's impregnated with like an alien. It's about to burst forth. Stuff is sticking to my hands like crazy. Yeah, it is very sticky. Oscar, do you have a favorite food? things formed. Now we can probably start cooking the bratwurst, right? Oh no, they have to cook for 30 more minutes. Do we want to just cook the bratwurst in that? Or do we need that for something else? We can put this and it's going to be a topping for that. Oh. Um, we need the wire one, I think. Oh, are we missing one? I didn't make one. Oh, yeah. You were, I was leaving the last one. 
one to you. I thought you already made it. No, I forgot to make it. I forgot to make the last one. <laughs> Oops. Dumplings are there. Croutons are fucking good. Just put them in the water. Okay, where's our, uh, I guess we just drop them in. Use a large spoon to lower dumpling. This one's stuck to the plate. I don't know if I could fit another. Maybe. Oh shit, there's so oh. much water. Yeah, I just noticed the water. we take some of that off? Got it? water. Alright, what's next for the sliders? Mixing up the stuff? Yeah, mix it up and then put it on the pan, put it in the oven. So this is the mixture, this is the uh, 
I'm gonna move this camera it's over a little. This is one of the unfortunate sides of making the, this recipe. Just do it vertically. Go vertically. Go vertically. Yeah. It's gonna stick to it no matter what. What are you talking about? I'm gonna I'm gonna What are you doing? I'm gonna mix it with my hands. Oh, you're gonna mix it with your hands? Okay. Yeah. Oh god! Get sucked in! I just thought you wouldn't want to get your hands dirty. Oh, well, I'm gonna do it with my hands. <laughs> All right, Sprout Mage, welcome in. Emrys, welcome in. Kona Kitchen reveal, yeah, how lewd. All right, here we go. I don't, I have a thing about my hands and getting like slimy stuff on my hands, but <laughs> I'll do it for you guys. <laughs> no, this is really bad. I hate this. <laughs> I should have done what you said. <laughs> but this is faster at least. Yeah, and it's basically done. Drink B I L B. Drink. All right, now you have to decide who gets to drink. It's me or Sam? That's a shot. Oh my god. Drink bird. Well, Emrys already said uh, drink bird, so I'm the bird. Both of you, LMAO. Oh, both of us. Alright, alright. What do we have? I'll do a shot of Kraken. I'm gonna do a shot of Kraken. Have you guys ever had Kraken rum? I think it's time to flip them. Alright. This burger meat is ready. It's gonna be what? This is gonna be an issue. They're gonna boil over. Alright. <laughs> uh, I can't I can't turn off the middle screen until I wash my hands. All right, we're gonna take these shots too though. What kind of what kind of shot are you gonna do? Vodka, okay. Oh, those dumplings actually are looking actually pretty good. Can you guys see the dumplings? You can, you can see the dumplings in there. Oh, there's barely a shot in there. Couldn't have done cracking even if I wanted to. Almost looks watered down. This is old Kraken. It's usually very, very dark. I guess it is pretty dark. Here's to you, Emrys. You love Kraken. Yeah, it's my favorite rum. What was at the end of the Kraken? No, I put some bitters in it. 
to Emerus. <coughs> oh. If you were right here, you were in the shot. You don't like the taste? Oh! Burns! That's the first alcohol we've had tonight, actually. You're visiting Sprout in New Jersey? Oh no! Sprout's gonna make us take a shot too? How's New Jersey? Yeah, how's New Jersey? It's been a long time since I've been to New Jersey. Seen any mysterious piles of pasta? <laughs> mysterious piles of pasta? Is that happening in New Jersey? Yeah, there was hundreds of pounds of dried pasta dumped in the woods. What the hell? Ooh, I can feel the burn in my chest from that. <laughs> can you uh, just sort of hold that over oh, this? Oh, yeah, yeah. But it, it's going to shrink. I know. I just want to compare it. Okay. So the Knox music is playing now. The Knox theme song. Alright, that's probably good. Pat it down. Give us some pat. Well, the goal of this is to keep it in a certain area so that we can put onions around it. You want it to be about evenly thick the whole way across. Like Sam said, it'll shrink up as you cook it, so if you think it's a little too big, don't worry too much. Just make sure that it's not too thick in certain spots. Alright. Now, do we cook that and then put the onions in afterward, or do we cook the onions in it now? Cooking first. All right. Uh -oh. So the thing is in the oven. That's the first first round. It goes in the oven like three times. The food is so good in New Jersey. What kind of food did you have in New Jersey? See our giant pile of onions? <laughs> Don't be jealous. The drivers are terrifying. I got I think I got hit by a car in New Jersey. Not not me specifically, but I was inside of a car that got hit. Here's our browned butter. That's going to be topping for the dumplings. Sorry. Can I get in here, please? 
Excuse me! I'd like to get by! So, how long do these go? Ten minutes? Until a timer goes off. And then you rotate them and do it another ten. Okay. They look like they're holding up. Yeah, they look pretty good. Um, how long do you think it'll take to cook the broads? Should we do any cut? Probably not that long. Oh, that was the thing in the oven just... Yeah, did you guys hear that? The thing in the oven, the, the tray that's in the oven just popped. It's worked. Okay, so... Do we have anything for the bratwurst, or are we just cooking them? The potato dumplings go with the bratwurst. No, I mean, like, did you have a recipe or anything for oh, the bratwurst? No, okay, then we'll just cook them. I didn't know. I don't know. There's probably, like, an authentic way. I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't. I'm just going to cook them. <clears throat> So, we have here two beer brats, which I was told by the butcher guy that this would be the most authentic thing, closest I could get to German bratwurst. That sounds good as fuck. And they just look like a. <laughs> they just look like bratwurst. We're gonna cook these up in this brown buttered pan. Maybe put a. Should we put like a lid on it and put a little but uh, water in there? Uh, I don't think we need to. I'm just gonna flip them. So once this gets warmed up, wait, did you get chives? I did. That's chives. <laughs> do, do, do. I don't remember a lot of the stuff I did in New Jersey. I um I spent most of my time in Pennsylvania, but it was so close to the border that it's hard to tell, like like in my memory, which was which. I uh I lived in Easton, Pennsylvania, and so like I said, we were right on the border of New Jersey. One time, the... God, what, what, what river was it? Huh? I'll flip them. Uh, God, I can't remember the name of the river that runs between New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Flooded. The river flooded, and we went down underneath the bridge where normally you can walk. Like there's a normally a like a sidewalk on the side of the river, and we went down there to uh, just like explore and stuff. It was really crazy. Like. We had to wade through some spots, and the water was like just that p high above the ground. Oh, okay. Yeah. And. That can still knock you down, can't it? 
Uh, well, no, not. I mean, it was only like this, like an inch. What? Yeah, but it's okay. I mean, no, it's not. Wait, my feet didn't get wet. I had police boots on, they were waterproof. <laughs> Alright, let's throw this. Well, we used to go down into, like, the. I don't know what you call them storm drain things near the river and we would shoot fireworks off because you could the storm drains were so big that like they're like higher than the ceiling in this house oh, it's a good way to die <laughs> what exploring storm drains yeah what's the worst that could happen you get washed away You just walk and you just get washed away forever and no one hears from you ever again. Nope, a good place to live to to eat. Hit me up. We're gonna be there soon. A few days. Watch out, they'll, they'll get, they'll explode. They'll boil over. Oh, time to take the sliders out. Sliders. Kind of fucked ourselves here. <laughs> Where are we going to put them? Put the thing down? In the other oven bit. Oh. That down there. I just made the first error of cooking in the oven, which is you didn't have a place to put it. You put all the hot air out. Well, it's fine. <laughs> Now we put the onions around. Always have a, a plan of where you're gonna put your oven stuff. You know, I really like that Mr. Brown's coffee. 
They always have it in the freezer section. And it's not the freezer section. It's like the ref above the refrigerated section. And it's like always the perfect temperature for cold coffee. Like coffee in a can, specifically. He's got to work. What temperature do they need to be cooked to? Uh, I don't know. Let's check our temperature thing. Pork. One hundred and forty. Can you open that? Open this. <laughs> I did it. I opened it. <laughs> Uh-oh. What did it say? What temperature? 140. 140, all right. And these guys are at... 65. If we, I think if we put a lid on it. Nice balmy 65 degrees. If we put a lid on it, it might cook a little, I don't know, more evenly. Yeah. I don't know, it's up to you. You can do it however you want. We need like 80 more degrees, so it needs to be twice as hot. Look at that. Look at that brownie. That's good. That's from the butter. Oh. Notice there's no butter in the pan anymore? Yeah, it's all gone. <laughs> what was the class of the main character guy? Just a in, bard? He was a bard? Well, I think he turned into a bard. He was a harper. I don't know what that is. That's not a thing. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I think it was supposed to be like a paladin. We're at 90. I like, I like how everyone had backstories. Like the, well, we didn't really find out What's his face? Uh, Rupert, er, is that his name? Uh, it's that British guy. The bad guy? Yeah. We didn't <laughs> find out his name. Yeah, we didn't even find out his name. Backstory. We found out his name. Who, what is his name? Who is this guy? I saw him so many times throughout the movie, I never knew who he was. <laughs> What are you... What does this say? What are we drinking? What are we drinking? I have Yingling beer and... Vodka? I have vodka and Fireball. I also have... Yeah, I have vodka and Fireball.
Almost. Where'd Emrys go, I wonder? <laughs> they were talking about New Jersey and they disappeared. Oh no! New Jersey got them. How they looking? They look pretty good. Oh, we're missing one because. But it fits nicely on the plate that way. So, what goes on these? Like a little bit of chives on the top? I think you do the melted butter first and then you do the yeast to move on top. Alright, here we go, guys. Um, the melted butter is not warm. <laughs> it doesn't have to be how hot they are. Well, it has to be to come out of the bowl. Oh, right! How do I use tools? Mix it up. Mix it up. <laughs> I don't know. I've had a shot of Kraken. I'm cooking. There we go. Put them. Um, for FWA, I think I'm looking forward to. I don't know, just seeing everyone again, for the most part. Seeing people again. MFF. Yeah, MFF. And everyone, basically everyone said they were going to go and so they better. 
these are feeling very firm. I have a good feeling about this test. One forty. One forty. All right, the bratwursts are done. Uh, you should be getting your uh, fursuit, right? Mm-hmm. Getting it back. Hopefully it'll fit. But it was like, it just needed to be a little bit bigger, right? The head, yeah. Gonna go to the bird meetup? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go to the bird meetup. There's a few different... There's a, some creator meetups that I kind of want to go to. Uh... I think... Do you remember that guy that we met at MFF, like, at the very end, when we were sitting, waiting for the, uh... Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah he's hosting, uh, the creator meetup at FWA, so... And he's really cool. His name is Tibbers. And he, like... He told me that he is hosting that, so I'm gonna go and see what it's about, probably. Because he's a cool guy and I want to support him. Alright. There it is. These are Kartoffel Close. I think that's what they're called. Kartoffel close. And here's our Bratwurst. We try really hard. I keep bumping my beak. Probably use a knife.
Here, bring it up. Bring it up here. Oh god, <laughs> the beer brought is so good. That's the... Did you have the dumpling? Hmm? I did both. Oh, really? I didn't see you. Hmm. Pull this out again, <clears throat> and now we put the onions on top. Yep, and the cheese slices. <laughs> All right, go ahead and get the cheese slices out, and I'll start spooning these on. This beer brat is actually very salty, yeah. which I'm not used to, but I think it kind of works. want to get the authentic White Castle taste, you need all of these onions to be smeared up all up on top of this. The first time I had White Castle, I, I think it was in Nashville, Tennessee. I think as soon as we got off the highway to go to our hotel, we saw one and we just like pulled right in and then they mm -hmm. gave us some of the tastiest little burgers I've ever had. Yeah, it's, uh... They're like... They're like crack. They're like... Addictive. But you can make them at home. And it get, you get basically the same flavor. Alright, so now we just need to put on... The secret ingredient, everyone! Deluxe Craft Singles! I just want to layer these on nice and heavy.
A new burb has hatched. We've named them Morgana underscore boy. Morgana boy, welcome in. Come on in here. Back in the oven. Back in the oven. <clears throat> Wait a second. What? Are the tops supposed to go on them? Sound of 10, then put the tops on and bake for five more. Okay. Alright, we've got two more baking sessions and the sliders are done. <laughs> How's the skin on the. Skin? Are you supposed to taste the skin? I guess if it's brown. Yeah, you taste the skin on a bratwurst. I would even go so far to say it's one of the most important parts of the Brat Wars. <laughs> I say as I try to shovel something in my mouth and miss. Now when you go back to work, you can take some of this food with you, and then your coworkers are gonna be like, what the fuck? And we have more bratwurst. Unless you bring it in every day. Alright, I got this out for these. Uh, I've been using that to sort of scoop them up. Uh huh. I don't know where my beak is! <laughs> oh no, where the ducks fell. Okay. I took the... <laughs> the party duck. He's partying too hard. Yeah, 64 slices of American cheese. Honestly, we could have doubled up, and it, it would be great. Actually, I think the recipe calls for it to be doubled up. I think it does. I think it calls for like 12 slices. Oh, I didn't set that. Six minutes. Oh, oh you set it. Yeah, I set it. So if you want to add more cheese. No. One, one slice is good. Okay. That's what we usually do. But if you want to be really decadent, if you want to be really decadent, 
it does call for uh, <laughs> basically two slices per burger. <laughs> it's really fucking crazy well, we, how much they want you to put on there. We get the deluxe, so that's basically Yeah, if you get the deluxe, craft singles are good if you get the deluxe ones. Don't get those crappy ones. Yeah, they're not individually wrapped in plastic, too. I mean, you can get them wrapped like that. Oh, you can? Well, don't. I'll be right back. I need to go to get the thing out of my teeth. We got nine minutes on the clock, and then we got five minutes on the clock after that. More cheese is better than less cheese. I don't know, man. Can you prove that with science, though? Empirically proven. I need peer reviewed. Yeah, I want to see your peer reviewed study. It'd be like cheese somewhere or whatever. I probably just misused that term like crazy, but cheese gourmand. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Oh my gosh, you spent all that time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Bratwurst, everyone. Have you guys ever had White Castle Sliders? White Castle Sliders are like... The dessert... Of burgers. Or the Little Debbies of burgers. Because you can eat a lot of Little Debbies probably. But they're not good for you. Uh... But damn, do they taste good. And it's basically gotten me addicted to sliders. You know that the, uh, the Pig Witch place does sliders? Uh, it's on the kids' menu. You have to order it off the kids' menu. You can get two sliders from Pig Witch. 
They're uh, hamburger. Hamburger sliders. That's the same place where I got my uh, pork. Ugh. We're almost done. <laughs> All right, y'all ready to see? Bam! Let's see him do this on TikTok. Oh, <laughs> All right, top tops on. Tops on. Pretty good. We got a little bit extra meat, but <laughs> it looks good on camera. Who, who doesn't, who doesn't want a little bit of extra meat, right, guys? No, I'm saying. Uh, excuse me, I'd like a little, like a little more beef in this all beef frank. Well, shoot. Oh, well, we've got about the same amount of mess as one normal cooking. It should fit in the dishwasher. Yeah, except for that pan. Check this, check this out, guys. If you don't have one of these, get you one of these. Analog, baby. Yeah, analog timer. This will never run out of batteries, but the spring might spray. The spring might spray. Yeah, the spring might break eventually. I mean, it will break eventually. But it'll never run out of batteries. You can wind it up for... Who knows how many times? got maybe two, three minutes left. <clears throat> Since we're just going to do dishes after this anyway, let's just use... Where is... oh, that one. Whoosh. My cool blue spatula. Is that one looking good? I like how they firmed up. They really did after we boiled them. Yeah. Yeah, we just 
just gotta put them on the box, slice them up, and put them together. Assemble. Waiting is the hardest part. We're just sitting here, waiting. May the flips be with you. I'll flip you. Oh yeah, we're done with the stove top. Well, for now. Yeah, I left that over. I don't remember what's in that, but it's tasty. It was the bread. It's just bread, bread and butter. Bread and butter, yeah. Bread and butter. This one took a little bit, but it looks good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, they're ready. Oh, right. <clears throat> That's what that means. We're going to turn on the stove cam one more time. And there they are. They're a little bit bigger than normal. Uh, it's so hard to tell how much is in Yeah. Normally you would use, I think, ground chuck. So we could just sort of. Oh, I got this. Yeah, you're gonna slice them with that. So you just sort of slice them down the line, and then once you've got them all cut, you just scoop them out, put them on the burger bun. These are thicker too than, uh, oh wait, that's because, I forgot, that's because we use lean meat. So yeah, normally you would use ground chuck. Ground chuck has a higher fat content. And that means that when you cook it, it shrinks up more. So you end up with smaller patties. Oops, I almost scraped the cheese off of that one. No, not the cheese! <laughs> Almost there. Oh my gosh, it's so messy. Slide well, it's a slider. Lives up to its name. All right, bam. Oh, I got like two angles. They may not look 
like much, but they taste good. Yeah, these things, these are great. All right. I don't know if I can eat one yet. They're they're hot. All right, here we go. Oh my God. It is very hot though. I'll put that down for a This is, uh, this is it guys. If you want the recipe, I have these posted in my Discord, but I will post them again after the stream. If you want any of the stuff that we have here tonight. Oh, actually, I can give you... I can post... Give me a second. There you go, guys. Wow. Four, four recipes in six hours. Not too bad, especially mostly from scratch. I but, like how all these took a while to cook, so you pretty much had lunch and dinner. Yeah, I was worried about uh, getting too full and not being able to eat it, but <laughs> it was spread out long enough that it worked. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> so the fact that they're cooked with the onion, what's like, what's the onion flavor just permeate through the burger meat? Yeah, you can taste the vapor. <laughs> oh yeah, you get that, you get that onion like feeling in your like sinuses kind of yeah. <clears throat> which definitely adds to the flavor a lot you are white castle I wish we had a white castle close to us Yeah, it's pretty far. Huh. Gosh, this has been a this has been a long stream. I wasn't even sure I could even pull this off, but we did it. I say it went pretty well. Yeah, we got all of our we got all of our stuff done. Um great. Yeah, all the food was amazing. I think we got some good shots of the food. I'll have to go back and look at the look at the VOD or look at the recording, but I think we got some really good shots of the food. And all in all, I just I feel like this was a really big success. So yeah, thank you everyone. Thank everyone who came to watch me cook. <laughs> Sam did most of the work, I think, but you were working the whole time. Oh. I'll have to... If I do something like this again, I'm definitely gonna try to pare it down to two instead of four. Yeah, because the first two alone took us three hours to make. <laughs> Thanks for the cooking stream. You're welcome. It was Yeah, fun. there might be more cooking streams. I had a lot of fun doing this, so... But there's definitely going to be more, uh, like, IRL-type streams. Um, eventually, I do plan to do a face reveal. So, maybe I'll do that at, like, a thousand followers. We'll say. I don't know. I'll think about it. People see me at cons. If you want to see my face, go to a con. You can see me in person. 
or tell your friends to uh, tell your friends to follow me so we can get to a thousand followers. Then I'll do a face reveal of a thousand followers. <laughs> Mystic is almost there. Mystic is almost, I think he's at like 920 now. So he's doing pretty good. Alright, we are going to look for somebody to raid out to. Twitch.tv Gosh, not a lot of people are on right now. Frickachan. Hmm. Oh, Tibbers is on. Playing Fortnite. Do you guys like Fortnite? Well, whatever. I was just talking about Tibbers here earlier, so let's do let's do a raid out on Tibbers. Yeah. Alright, well, I had a lot of fun tonight, guys. Uh, I probably won't do another stream before M or FWA, but I'm going to try to do at least one stream at FWA. I don't know. I've never done a... I've never streamed from my mobile before, so we'll see how that goes. Uh... As you know, cons are hectic, so I'm not going to make any promises, but I'm going to try to do at least one. But I will have my fursuit at FWA, so if you want to see my fursuit, be sure to tune in to one of the FWA streams that I'm likely to do. Um, if you had fun tonight, come hang out in our Discord. We post food. Eventually, we're going to have movie nights and stuff. And you could just Hi, Bonnie. Discord. Bop. There you go. There, you got two links. Both of them work. Use whichever one you want. Just get in the Discord. Cause uh yeah. Oh, also I do a weekly drawing for gift sub, so sort of. I have a weekly competition. For a gift sub. Um. All right, let's raid out to Pup Tibbers. Oh, you put two R's. Access missing. Start cancel raids. Heck. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> there we go. Raiding to Pop Tibbers. Here is also the raid message. If you don't have the emotes for this raid message, feel free to use whatever emotes you have. And I will see you sometime during FWA. I'm going to come back over here before I do my sign out. But... Alright. Where is my mouse? All right. Well, I will see you all sometime next week. Have a nice time and enjoy the food. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. <gasps>